Hello everyone, welcome to this week's plan with me. I am doing this voiceover in my office, so if you hear my rolly chair a little, little, that's just what we're working with, but this week I am using the Level Up kit. I used this kit. It is exclusive art that was made for Avery's birthday, which I think turned out so cute. I just am obsessed with it. It is a like pastel gamer kit, which I think is so fun. And we do also have like a neon gamer kit in the shop. This is just like kind of a newer, like different vibe, but I did decide to go with black foil mixed with hollow foil. And I think it turned out so cool. This is, I feel like birthday kits just in general, I really go through the ringer of trying to pick out the foil and sometimes change my mind like a hundred times like that I've been doing with Theo's birthday kit. I just feel like there's so many options that are going to be like amazing that I like, I don't know how to pick which one. And I also did pull in the black um, limited edition colorway doodles and I think it looks so cool. Like I'm so happy with this combo, but I do think that this like kit looks so good with so many different foils. Like I've been loving seeing what everyone has put together and ugh, beautiful. I will say though, I am annoyed because this is the second time I'm doing this voiceover. I had a really bad day last week where like everything and anything, basically two things went wrong. It was this voiceover and then something else, which I'll get into that week, but it was work related. Both of them actually, I guess were work related then, but and nothing usually goes wrong work related, but this is my second time doing this voiceover because I did the whole voiceover and I actually sped up the clips more because I was like, I cannot talk for another 30 minutes during this spread. I sped up the clips more because it was like 35 minutes and whenever I clicked like the end voiceover button, Final Cut crash, which actually I'm going to test now if I click the end button before I get too deep. If it crashes, let's try it. Nope, I guess that was a one-off thing, but I decided to speed up this clip to 2000% and then the actual planning to 300%. Normally I do that 200% and then I think I do this like 1000%. So this is double the amount that I usually do it at and then the planning's just a little bit faster. But anyways, let's get into what this week was. Like I said, it was Avery's birthday, so I did use this kit. It was also my anniversary, which I feel like really never gets a kit on its own. It's gotta be, maybe next year it's on its own, or maybe not, I don't know. Um, but I always use like an Avery birthday kit over, well, unless it's like Valentine's Day and it kind of could have birthday vibes, then I'll use it, but I don't know. Valentine's Day is like, I feel like a whole month. So it's fine if I use a kit for either my anniversary eventually or Avery's birthday. I just feel like I could use Valentine's Day all month. So I did use this kit. I said the foil I use. Oh, and the black. I didn't just use black. Well, I use black for the underlays. Those are from Planet Hannah. But I use the black like square because it has like hollow like vibes to it, which I think pulls in the like green and like blue and yellow and purple. Like I think that like lends to hollow so much, especially when there's a blue and a green in a kit. Like it just looks so good with hollow because it brings that out of the hollow. And then, like I said, it's also my anniversary this week. It's 15 years since we started dating and then also six years since we got married. So I wanted to put that in as well this week. So let's start with Monday. Actually, what did I put in the sidebar? Avery's birthday in 15 years. So I, I covered that all. On Monday, we had our screen installed. We decided to screen in our back patio, which has been the best decision already, even though this was only a month ago. Um, so they were here this day and we also decided to go to work as a family. We, I think we just needed to like pick something up or something. I don't remember what it was, but, um, we surprised Kirsten with Lila. So Kirsten got to meet Lila this day, which was super cute. And then we decided to go to the Barton Creek mall and this was like our second family outing. The first one we went to Barnes and Noble, which was like closer and like faster. We wanted to like test the waters, but we're trying to do like more things. We haven't in a while because like the kids have been sick. I don't know what they had. I tested myself and Theo. I tested myself three times. I tested Theo twice. Um, but I think that it was the flu or a cold because it was like Theo had it for like nine days 
and there was no fever or anything. He was like warm, like kind like warm, warm a couple of days, but nothing crazy. And then Lila was just super congested. I still have to like snot suck her and Theo just started sleeping through the night, like last night. So yeah, we've been trying to do things, but also took a break because we were like not knowing exactly what was going on, but everyone's better now. So that's awesome. Um, so anyways, we went to the Barton mall and we went to build a bear, which was so cute to see the boys do. And then we also went to the Lego store because my family is obsessed with Legos, like beyond obsessed. And Bennett is so good at Legos. Like I think Nick like cries basically every time Bennett does a Lego. Um, because, and, and honestly, I am impressed that like he's four and he has the patience and also the like brain capacity to do them because some of them like I think are even hard and like I would get frustrated with but he like doesn't even need help doing like big boy Legos like 400 500 pieces I think is what he's kind of around he just does them all which is kind of insane um so we went to Lego the boys picked out these bath Legos which are new I believe um and they have been obsessed with those and I like them because a lot of bath toys are actually really disgusting if you're a parent you know like they're just like a lot of them don't drain water correctly and it's just a pain. So basically for the longest time we've had like those foam bath letters, but honestly those need to retire because we've had those since Bennett was like one and they kind of do get kind of grimy. Um, so we retired those and these Legos are so nice for the bath. The boys love them because obviously they're obsessed with Legos. They drain because they're Legos and they like thought of all of that and it's just like, it's fun. They like it. Um, so if your kid likes Legos and needs bath toys or you're like shopping for a present for somebody, I would recommend it because I feel like as far as bath toys go, that's like creme de la creme amazing. We also love Legos, so we're biased. Um, we did get a pretzel and lemonade at Annie Ann's. Well, we got two. We got a cinnamon one and a regular one and the boys loved them. And then Theo passed out in the car, which I put in because... He never like really had the opportunity to fall asleep in the car and I don't know what it is about a kid like conked in a car seat that is like the cutest thing in the whole world. You can see he was so tuckered out so I put that in and then for lunch we did grab Jack Allen to go which was so good and then whenever I got home I cut Theo's hair which was hilarious because he was crying. I was laughing so hard because it was just a mess like he moved a little, so I ended up cutting his, like, bang area too short. His hair is already, like, hard to cut. I actually talked to the girl who did, who does my hair, and she's going to cut Theo's hair from now on because I just can't do it. It's so hard. And I was just, like, literally, like, crying, cracking up, and he was crying because I was laughing at him, and it was horrible. So, and I, his hair is so hard um, because of the way it lays. It's, like, it goes up and then like lays. I don't know. It's really hard. And even Brie was like, it's impossible. Well, not impossible. But it's like, it's gonna be hard for you to do it because you have to point cut the whole thing. And I mean, I could do it. It's also, he's like, doesn't sit still. I just feel like I can cut my hair. I could cut the rest of the boy's hair. I'm pretty confident in like girl, like a trim um, without it looking wild. I obviously it's not going to be perfect because I don't like, I'm not trained professionally. Um, but Theo's hair is like next level hard. So I'm probably just going to take him to the girl who does my hair. And I think we're going to do a mullet, which I think is going to be so cute. We, we're going to be a family of weird hair because Nick also wants to do some weird stuff to his hair. And I'm like here for it because like I'm the kind of person who has literally no um, attachment to my hair. And I literally don't care about anything as far as like wear what you want, do what you want, look how you want. Like you only live one life. I literally don't care. So that and then I got McDonald's this night and Nick went to the movies to see Spider-Man. He's wanted to see it since it came out, but December was obviously crazy for us. And then I think we just kind of like didn't think about it because December was crazy, January was catch up, and here we are in February. So we finally went to see that and then I put in on Tuesday that I was super tired because I have this thing where like if I knew Nick wasn't coming home, I could go to sleep. But because he was coming home, I like wanted to make sure he got home okay. And then also I knew that he's like super loud and obnoxious. Like he can't be quiet. He like is just too loud. It, even if he tries, he's just too loud. So I know that like if I fell asleep and then he got home an hour and a half later, like or two hours later, whatever it was, I would wake up and I would be awake. Mm, that would ruin me. So I was like, I'm just going to stay up. But then I ended up being super tired on Tuesday. I made a French toast and then this day I did have a hair appointment, just my normal like bleach my root um, and then like tone color the other side, simple. Um, 
I actually got a lot of work done at this hair appointment and I did all my listings for the next day, which I actually need to do today. And then I put pictures in frames, which I'm always proud of myself when I do. We got Tarka and I had a FaceTime date with Kane, which I have bi-weekly and I have been loving. On Wednesday, we went to my in-laws and had pancakes. And then me, Nick, and Lila went to Target and got lunch to go at my favorite taco place. Then I put in that I was super mad at Nick this day because he was complaining about like if I ordered something, the box that it comes in. And like we have a recycling plant near us where you could take boxes and it's not a big deal. But he's just like, there's some things that Nick's just like super particular about and he hates boxes for some reason. And I like get it, but also like, I don't know. And he's like, just go buy it out of the store. And I was like, I don't want to go anywhere. Like I just don't like going places anymore. And it was just like a whole thing. So I was irritated, but I will note that I got my period on the 12th. So I was already just like not happy with life at this point. Um, then I worked on Theo's room this day and watched um, 90 Day, like the weird random shows that I mentioned a couple of plans these ago, but I haven't even watched those in a while because they're so boring, but like I watch them because they're 90 Day. On Thursday, I woke up super early because I wanted to get a curbside reservation for Uchiko on our anniversary, and they only put them up like two days in advance now, which I think is so weird, um, but I got that and we like ordered all of our food at like 5 a.m., um, and then I got Starbucks and this day we watched old vlogs. They're currently unlisted, but like, oh my God, are they cringy? And the mo the reason why they're cringy, I think to me is because of like how terrible, like the production value is like the, it was like a lot of shaking and like a lot of parts that now I'd have been like, cut that out, cut that out, cut that out. Like you don't need that. We don't need to talk about this, this is too much talking. Like you're fine. But we watched the one where we moved to Texas and that was, we watched mostly just that one and then just like kind of skimmed through some of the rest of them. But it was very nostalgic and also I'm just like, wow, like, the, and it's also like our apartment where we had like a SPC in like one of the bedrooms of the two. It's just crazy. That's even before Brian and Kirsten moved here, which is just wild. Um, then I had McDonald's because I just have like a McDonald's problem. Honestly, usually I want a Coke and then I'm like, well, might as well get some fries or something. Then we just hung out on the patio with the boys because it's so nice having like the screen in patio. Like there's just less bugs, less dirt. Like it's, you get be outside with being inside. It's just like, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. It's probably one of my favorite things that we've done for the house. Uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. Then I put in that we watched Josie and Stacey and then that was it for Thursday. On Friday, I put in that Lila was two months old and I think that that was the cutest way to mark it. I think those might be from The Giving Girl. I'm not 100% sure that cloud with the bow. It's so old. And then I made myself that Lila two months old custom in the same font as the new scripts are coming out in and like, oh my goodness, it, are they not the cutest thing ever? And I think the best thing about them for me is the sizing because I was super meticulous about the sizing of the new scripts and like how they fit in little things, how they fit in fancy labels, how they fit in third boxes. And I just think that they're perfect with the character sticker, sticker next to them. But also a lot of them could be used on their own. A lot of them could be used in square boxes. They could be used in the new like boxes under the square boxes that are rounded. I just think they're so cute and I'm so excited for them and I'm going to be using them like crazy. Um, I put in that I was mad at Nick again this day and this was a time management issue. Um, but again, like I said, I was moody this week. I was just like a force to be reckoned with. It was my first period back from like having a baby and I feel like those ones for me at least are always horrendous. And my, my, la my next one after this one was also like kind of bad. Like normally like I'm really lucky and I don't need like a lot of medicine or like a heating pad or anything like that when I get my period. But like it's been, they've been bad. This one wasn't as bad as this one in this week, but this one in this week I needed like meds. I was like in pain. I was just feeling so uncomfortable and moody and it was bad. Anyways, we got Sweet Lemon Kitchen. I think it's lemon or lemon. I want to say it's lemon because it just sounds fancier and like it just with the vibes. Um, but we got that to go and it was so good. I think it was our first time eating it and it was pretty awesome. They have really good grilled cheese. Um, clean up the house. I put in that girl who was just like not sleeping this day. She really started at this time to transition into like, like short naps during the day, but she sleeps the whole way through the night, which 
I'm fine with. She takes usually one good nap a day that's around two hours. The rest of them are about 30 minutes. Um, but she's very consistent in her schedule and she's very easy and I just, mm, just so blessed with this child. She's just perfect. Um, then we got Fortune Garden for dinner, which is my favorite like Chinese place. It's so good. And I got a Whataburger milkshake, which is also so good. I'm just so sad that I slept on those for like five years. And then this day, I think it's like our new thing to exchange gifts the day before the event. So like Christmas Eve, we exchange gifts. And I think that like, it's just our thing now to do it the day before. So we decided to like exchange like Valentine's Day slash anniversary because we don't do like separate. We just do like something like together. So Nick got me like a bunch of like Disney memorabilia type things, which are really cool. And like uh, replicas, which are like a park replicas. And then I don't remember what else he got me, TBH. I'm just like, it's been a minute. Oh, he got me this hilarious like Louis AirPod holder, which was just like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I actually use it, but like it has a strap that you're supposed to put it on your arm, which I just don't think I've ever seen anybody. I mean, I think you can put on your arm or your wrist, carry their AirPods on their arm or their wrist. But also I don't know, but like they're sitting, like my AirPods are, that's where they live now. And then I got Nick like a Boba Fett like helmet and then um, this record that he wanted. It's like Foxy Shazam or something. I don't even know. And um, then I finally got us our wedding book, like a wedding album. And it turned out really nice. I got it from Artifact Uprising, I think it's called. Or no, I got it from Mpix. I got it from Mpix. I got a board book from Artifact Uprising or whatever it's called. I got it from Mpix and it turned out so nice and he cried and that was like score. Oh, and then this is where the birth of those like small rounded boxes came from because I was like, let's try this. And it turned out so cute. Uh, but anyways, we did that. We watched Darcy and Stacy, and then I put in on the 12th that was our 15 year anniversary. We got Kava for lunch. I got my period. Uh, Target run. We took the boys to the in-laws so that we could do our Uchiko to go we get it and we eat it in the Applebee's or is it Applebee's? Yeah, Applebee's, I think, parking lot. Then I made this Oreo cake thing. I worked on cleaning the house up and I ordered a bunch of stuff for the house, like random little things that I was like, oh, we need more like rug sticky things, like just like things I needed to order, but I always forget. I'm like the most forgetful person now. Um, I worked on the boys' rooms, which I love the sticker I use for this. It's from Happy Daya, and I forgot I had them, but whenever I decluttered my stickers, I was like, oh, I need to remember to use these more. I tried to order plane tickets, and it was annoying. I don't know. I think that this was at Nick's parents' house. Um, I tried ordering tickets for them to go home to Pennsylvania, and the, like, website crashed, which is just, like, so obnoxious. So I had called the next day because I never got a confirmation email, um, and also it didn't charge my card, but then it ended up did charge my card that morning. It was the most bizarre thing, but like, thankfully it's all figured out. Um, then I put in that it was Avery's birthday on the 13th. I put in that Lila slept terribly and that I had bad cramps. Like I said, I was like really going through it this time. And then I put in that the in-laws came over for the Super Bowl. We don't watch like football or anything like that, but we do like to like have the football kind of food, like the Super Bowl food. We put it on, we watch commercials. We like haven't been like into a game in a long time. Not that I'm like ever really into it, but sometimes we like are root for a team just to make it fun, but we didn't do it this time. I was just so tired and uncomfortable. Um, I made buffalo chicken dip this day and pork nachos from the pork nachos were from like a hello fresh kit They did which were actually really really good And I started reading a book this day I haven't read a full book since and i'm so annoyed with myself But I think i'm just going to watch the bridgerton season that comes out this week I don't know if i'm gonna be able to watch it this week But we'll see and then i'm just gonna read the, all of the bridgerton books because I feel like I started this book and I just like wasn't super into it. I love the way it's written and I love like everything that I've read so far, but I'm just not like gravitating towards it. I'd rather sleep. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think I just need to switch books and I'm going to come back to this book though because I really like it, but I did finish this one, which was the first Bridgerton book. And then I put in that we watched the Puppy Bowl and the Super Bowl. And for dinner, we had McDonald's and Jersey Mike's. I had big plans to do other things, but I was just like not in the mood this day. 
And then I put in that girlfriend was just not having it this night. Like I said, I think that this week was a real transition week for her. So she was in a mood. I was in a mood. We were all in a mood. So that is everything for this week. I hope that y'all like this plan with me. I think it turned out so beautiful and I love the black with this spread. But like I said, I think that like so many different foils would look so good with it. So if you are like on the fence about this kit, get it, find a fun foil or use hollow, sparkly hollow, lavender hollow, black. There's just so many options and I am obsessed. It might be one of my top five favorite spreads ever. I just think it's so fun and I love the contrast, but that is everything. And again, I hope that y'all like this plan with me and I'll talk to my next one. Bye.